Welcome to the Sports Cycle Highlight Express. I'm your host, Donnie Dwyer. The UP High School baseball season wraps up this week, and seniors wanted to go out with a bang, so we start out with a great doubleheader. The Norway Knights travel to Marquette for this non-conference battle on an overcast day. And the Redmen were down one to nothing in the bottom of the first, when Mr. Gabe Red Apple scorches one to right, bringing home Brennan Higby, and Marquette ties up the game just like that. Then, Marquette loads up the bases for Matthew Bam Bam Bammer, and they call him that for a reason because he gets plunked in the shoulder, bringing home the run, and Marquette now out to a 2-1 to one lead early in the ball game. Fast forward now to the third, and the Knights load up all the bases for Taylor Benetti, and he would take ball four on the outside corner, and that brings home Danny Vivio from third, and Norway ties up the ball game just like that at two apiece. Now to the sixth, runners at first and second after a single with no out, and Billy Berklin drops down a beauty of a bunt to advance the runners, but the first baseman, Luke McCullough, decides to throw to third base, and it goes low and wide, advancing Jake Wren, and the Knights were in control after that run with a 3-2 lead. And on the mound, Danny Vivio was changing his arm angles and speeds to just confuse the batters as he went four and two-thirds innings, struck out nine batters in the process as Norway goes on to take game one by the score of 3-2. to two. Now to game two where Marquette was looking for revenge on the Knights. Go to the third, Jake Olsen at the disc, and he skies one to right far enough for his teammate Higby to score, and it was one to nothing Redmond early. But in the fourth, the Knights even things up as John Edwardson singles through the hole and into right field. Shortstop Bryce Graybold scores, and Norway was looking to add to their lead. But here is a sports cycle top play. Stone Rosado cracks one to Higby at third with the bases loaded, and he catches the rope and then tags the runner at the bag to complete the double play. That's flashing some leather at the hot corner. Now to the top of the fifth, John Gravel Jr. steps up to the dish with a runner in scoring position, cracks one to right field in between second and first, and Garrett Benetti scores, and it's 2-1 to one Norway with the lead. And in the bottom of the sixth inning, Austin Graybold is called on to get a two-out save. He would strike out the first batter, but then walk the second, and Brandon Higby steps up to the plate, and he was looking for a clutch hit with the bases loaded, and number 16 delivers as he lines one just under the glove of Bryce Graybold, bringing home two, and Marquette comes back in incredible fashion with a 3-2 win in the bottom of the inning with their backs against the wall. To the scoreboard for district softball results. We start off with Division 3 at Gladstone and the Braves beat the Emeralds 10 to nothing. Pickford and Cedarville beat Gwynn by 10 runs as well. Houghton beats Westwood by 4 as the Gremlins beat the Patriots. Then Gladstone just rolls over Pickford Cedarville with an 18 to nothing win. Semifinals and finals are Saturday. Houghton vs Nagani at 10 with the winner meeting Gladstone in the district final at noon. Over to Division 4, that's in Norway. We start off with Rapid River. They beat Munising 11-1. Then the Knights of Norway beat Stevenson 11-1 as well. And we go to Ironwood and the Red Devils beat Hancock 17-2 in a lopsided affair. And Ishpeming, the Hematites beat Superior Central by the score of 7-2. And finally, to wrap up the show, great news coming from Northern Michigan University as two UP players will join the basketball team to play their four years as a Wildcat. Mid-Peninsula's Brett Branstrom and Carney Nato's Wade Shedder have committed to play basketball for head coach Bill Saul and the NMU Wildcats in the GLIAC. So it's good to see two local guys starting to develop their abilities and talents at NMU. And remember, go to the website, thesportscycle.com, for stories, highlights, recaps, and photos every single day. I'm Donnie Dwyer. Have a good night.